Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Shady Ibrahim, and I'm working as a managing director for Salman Corporation in Sultana Oman. I would like to share with you uh, some videos. I'm calling it uh, knowledge capsules, which sharing some ideas and some thoughts about how we can think differently about our business, how we can see some opportunities about the future. Uh, I'd like to uh, start my video with a very nice quote for Albert Einstein, which is, insanity is to expect a different result from the same input. And uh, as we all know, and we are all aware about the pandemic COVID-19, and the incidents happened that uh, for lots of, uh, for all of us, it's not for lots, uh, but it's all of us, it's uh, the first uh, in mankind and for our generations. So I would like to uh, tackle this uh, from uh, organization and from the corporate perspective based on my past experience and uh, what we are currently uh, living around. We are living in an environment that's called the VUCA environment, which is uh, volatility, uncertainty, ambiguity, and uh, unclarity. And uh, for uh, business leaders or directors in organizations, we are facing lots of challenges about uh, how to sustain our business, how to maintain our uh, workforce, and how to maintain our day-to-day uh, -day operations. And uh, along with this, how to think about the future and how to plan for the future. Um, we have to think in a different way because, uh, as I said, insanity is to expect a different result from the same input. So if we are tackling the future with the same way that we are thinking about the past, it will never reach one end for us. Um, one of the opportunities that we are looking for it, uh, we have to start thinking about uh, the pistol analysis, which is uh, the political, environmental, uh, social, cultural, technological, and legal aspects and environmental aspects surrounding us, and how we can generate some opportunities out of it. Uh, we can talk about uh, the new regulation that is coming also along the way with all this uh, environmental uh, environmental uh, protections. Uh, initiatives that it's happening in lots of countries surrounding Egypt. I'd like to talk about uh, shopping and the future of shopping and the future of uh, plastic industry. And uh, one of the main reasons talking about it uh, that we are a retailer and uh, we are having new regulation in Oman and it's uh, going to be implemented also across all the GCC markets very soon. That uh, all the retailers are not allowed anymore to use the normal plastic bags and uh, they are going to be forced to shift to uh, other solutions, either to can use the, uh, what we call it, uh, a biodegradable plastic bags, or to the paper shopping bags, or to any other materials like rattan, or like fabric bags. And this initiative, uh, it can generate lots of opportunities for uh, manufacturers in Egypt. It can uh, open the door for new export opportunities, because the challenge here is how to meet the supply uh, in the global market. And uh, this industry, it's one of the good industries in Egypt that we are having lots of uh, plastic manufacturers. So if you are a manufacturer, how to think about uh, how sh to shift from the normal plastic to the biodegradable plastic. If you are a new investor or a new manufacturer or a new uh, in, uh, looking for a business uh, investor looking for a new opportunity in Egypt, how we can think about investing about uh, using the paper bags back again, so this is a recycled uh, industry which is uh, also environmental friendly or how we can use some of the raw materials which is available in Egypt uh, to create and to manufacture the shopping bags. Uh, this opportunity also, it comes in line with uh, the initiative from the government that they are taking in order to encourage the young entrepreneurs and the young manufacturers which is uh, offering lots of facilities in terms of uh, providing industrial hubs and lots of export uh, support. As an example, our government is having an excellent relationship across Middle East and Africa, which is we are having with Europe, uh, the Euro One trade agreement, we're having with Africa, the Comista agreement, we're having with the GCC market, the Arab trade agreement. So it gives us a good uh, door and good opportunity about thinking about the future, how to look for uh, a small investment to medium investment in opening a new factory in Egypt for manufacturing such kind of uh, shopping bags. And when I'm talking about shopping bags here, it's a different sizes and different packaging materials and packaging solutions. 
and we uh, can capitalize or we can build on the strengths that we are having in the country about uh, uh, the manpower in terms of resources when we are talking about the raw material availability and we are talking about also our geographical location and uh, that our export cost it will be very minimal when we compare it with the Far East manufacturer or supplier for such type of product. I hope that this is also a, a door opener for a new opportunity for us and looking forward uh, moving forward, we will share with you also more videos about new opportunities and new thoughts about the future. Thank you, and I hope you like the video.